Okay, we have to get your take yeah. on the most important topic of the day, Pygate. Sarah Huckabee Sanders tweeted out, I don't cook much these days, but manage this chocolate pecan pie for Thanksgiving at the family farm. To which April Ryan responded, show it to us on a table. <laughs> so, so April Ryan... <laughs> she didn't believe that she a, cooked it. She's in the press pool. She's been critical of the president. She takes to Twitter and says, I don't believe you, Sarah Huckabee Sanders. You and you often see pie. them mixing it up at the press secretary briefings as well. And she responded, don't worry, April Ryan, because I'm nice. I'll bake one for you next week. Hashtag real pie. Hashtag fake news. Weaky face. To which April Ryan responded, okay, I want to watch you bake it and put it on the table, but forget or but forgive me, I won't eat it. Remember, you guys don't like the press. So Okay, as if she's going to be poisoned <laughs> by right. the White House. Yes. Um, look, uh, I think, God forbid, you know, the media looked at Uranium One or any other big story out but there. But pie. But they have to go after the pies. There was really only one response. There must be a special counsel. And I predict <laughs> that at the end of it, the White House is going to get creamed. Also, uh, well, that's oh, good. Also, oh, someone, come on. That was oh good. Also, First someone day. offers yeah. to bake you a pie. The only answer is yes. Yeah, yeah. There is no well, other response. But who would, who would yeah. question? Wait a second, though. Let, let me connect some dots here because <laughs> Wait, while it is very them. entertaining, remember April Ryan, a uh, uh, member of the White House press corps, mm -hmm. uh, got into a big spat with Sean Spicer. Mm -hmm. uh, and she then has a book out. And she's become a CNN commentator, taking it a little further. And then we were talking earlier in this segment about mm -hmm. journalists being paid for it. Have we, are we in a new age where really the opinions of members of the White House press corps who are supposed to be the fairest arbiters and hold that uh, executive branch accountable, are we in a new age where people just accept this? Yeah, it's embarrassing be that, you know, we're raising questions about whether you bake the family pie as opposed to going in the press room and asking the real questions, you know, about substance, about policy. Uh, and I get April Ryan and other reporters do press on, on no, policy. April Ryan Fairness. doesn't have any opinions of her own. Uh, no, no, but they no, press on totally policy. totally unbiased. Is that your feeling? That's of your course, opinion. Of course, it's absurd. <laughs> That's they your... all have biases. We all do. And I just I think, think it's frivolous I, I know, to be you, going after a pot. You right. and Griff and a lot of people do a really good job, honestly, of, of, of playing it down the middle and saying, listen, I understand we're both. But so many members of the media have exposed themselves in small, petty stuff like this. Right, and to Should attack Sarah Sanders. And to the point, you've right, got tax reform. We have terror attacks around the globe. But yet, this is what we focus yeah, on. Yeah, to mix yeah. it up yeah. on, you mix it up on the pie. It's like, come on, get real. Let, let us know, America. Better do you do. care more about Pygate or Uranium One? I don't know. Giving yeah. away uh, $145 million of donations to the Clinton Foundation, potentially in exchange for access to secure... They have uh, to issue system. subpoenas or subpoenas. <laughs> <laughs> Ed is on a roll this morning. Friends of Fox News.com, let us know.